coronavirus infections outside of China are going parabolic. The latest official infections data, which despite a proper record of Africa and South Central America's numbers, has the number of infected literally going parabolic, soaring by over 1,700 overnight to 10,300, to well above my trend forecast that projects to an official tally of about 129,250 infections outside of China by the end of March 2020. Were this trend to continue into the end of March, then the number of infected outside of China would total 245,000, which would not bode well for what was to come for April and May. Whilst the number of deaths can be estimated at uh, at least 15,700, that's based on a case fatality rate of 0.64% as per the conclusion of my analysis of 21st of February. UK coronavirus infected numbers are going parabolic. UK pandemic day 35 update. The total number of infections recorded in the UK has now started to increase on a daily basis which now include community spread that is unable to be tracked back to one of the growing outbreak hotspots across the world, i.e. people who have brought the virus into the UK from China, South Korea, Italy or Iran, which are currently the main transmission points for the virus. Also, I've observed puzzling BBC and Channel 4 news reporting today on the case fatality rate of 3.5% only being twice as deadly as the regular flu when 3.5% is about 90 times as deadly as the flu. So it looks like the UK government has instructed the mainstream broadcast media to start preparing the general population for a lot of coronavirus deaths with misinformation and thus to start peddling propaganda that is only twice as deadly as the flu which I will include footage of in future videos. The fact that the UK as of the 2nd of March has only 51 cases does not alter the fact that the UK is in the calm before the coronavirus storm stage as my forecast of 14th February 2020 concluded in the number of infected to trend to 5,000 by the end of March resulting in some 90 deaths which would represent a huge parabolic increase from the current tally of 51 infected. However, my analysis of what is happening in South Korea illustrates that community spread outbreaks tend to be explosive, soon jumping from 1 to 1,000 infected in a matter of days, which is a likely pattern to expect in the UK that I'm sure will prompt emergency, even panic response such as cancellation of virtually all public events, schools, universities and colleges being closed and infected hotspots being quarantined all likely to start taking place by mid-March as I first warned to expect to happen several weeks ago and where Britain schools could remain closed until September. US Coronavirus Infections Day 42 Update Apparently the CDC has been sending out coronavirus test kits that don't work so how many hundreds of infected have been roaming US streets infecting fellow citizens because the CDC is basically incompetent. It looks like the CDC wants to control media attention on the coronavirus and actually do their job in preventing outbreaks. Much as the WHO have been shown to be little more than media whores rather than do anything proactive to prevent outbreaks. An example of which is the failure to halt all flights out of China that they should have done in January. My US trend forecast is for 13,000 infected by the end of March resulting in about 180 deaths. Though the actual number may turn out to be significantly higher because I see little sign that the US is taking the coronavirus seriously enough where many are still just shrugging it off as being not that much worse than the flu. Instead, it is at least 15 times as deadly as the flu and depending on the quality of healthcare can be as much as 100 times as deadly. The bottom line is that most Western nations are still in the calm before the coronavirus storm stage where outbreaks could spread at nearer to R5 rather than the oft-mentioned R2.6 
at least for the first four or five days of an outbreak which means the UK and the US having only 50 managed cases each there's nothing to get complacent about for there will be outbreaks that will be just as bad as in South Korea and Italy it is only a matter of time that should not be wasted but rather utilized to prepare for especially given the fact that the likes of Britain's NHS has only spare capacity for 400 critically ill patients that could number in the thousands by the end of March alone let alone be able to cope with what looks increasingly likely for April and May and worse still most of the beds by then will likely be occupied by healthcare workers as they are more at risk of becoming infected so the general public stands a hope in health chance of getting treated for coronavirus once the epidemic gets going by around mid-march stock market implications my stock market analysis and trend forecast based on my coronavirus analysis as of late january was first made available to patrons who support my work that basically won't expect this decline in the stock market on the 9th of February with several additional updates since. So for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month. And also remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel for the next video in this series as we chart the unfolding coronavirus pandemic with a lot worse to come for April and May.